get ready with me while I talk about things I wouldn't accept from a guy. Number one, female best friend type shit. I do not go with that because what the hell. I mean, it's cool when y'all grew up together, lived together, or did whatever together, but then it's my time to shine. So I hate the fact that you be out here taking advices from another female that's not part of our relationship, giving you advices about me and how I should treat you. That's wrong. Number two, a guy that's just too busy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Especially when they're busy with something that's not really going to benefit the both of us. If, like, it's you going out with your friends, shopping, doing those other nonsense things, and you're just not having time for me, what are we doing in that relationship? And if it's only going to benefit you, then get out of that relationship. Hamba. Because why are you still there? A guy that says the opposite of what he's doing. Like, actions speak louder than words, Baba. Like, how do you say you miss me? And then go offline the whole day. Get your acts right, son. Then we got those losers who have excuses for everything. I don't even want to get to that. Then we have those MFs that will just guilt trap you. Like, you're wrong. Take action for it. Like, you be complaining about what he did, and he be like, nah, this, that, that, but when I do this, you do that. But the problem with niggas is that they wait for you to complain about something. Then they take out all of the things that you've done that made them feel somehow, and they never even spoke about it. Like, why don't you talk at that time? Why should I say something in order for us to start talking about something? No ways. A controlling dude. Chai.